Okay, we're back with this giant set. It's so big, it doesn't even fit on the screen. Um, so yeah, this thing, we're gonna do the roof uh, very quickly. Uh, hold on. Here's the rest of some of the characters. Uh, we're missing an animal. Well, the sheep and the stuff are in there. Okay, cool. And that's all the pieces that we are going to be using. Uh, plus this little bag. Alright, so I'm feeling a bit ill. I thought a few days ago that I had just not had... Um, enough sleep, but it turns out I think I might be getting sick, <laughs> which I'm not too happy about. I'm like kind of worried that it's, I'm actually going to get COVID for once. Uh, but there is a squirrel, so that's made me happy. Um, this is the packet of pills I got. Um, so they're pretty good, pretty good squirrel. Squirrel. Um, not that. Uh, I often see squirrels because they don't live in a country where squirrels live. Uh, though I've been kind of, I gotta get the, gotta get this thing in the way. Uh, being an advocate, I'm gonna. Uh, um, I've been a big advocate for it. Like you might as well just bring squirrels to New Zealand, because um, we already have like you know major pest pro uh, invasive species problems. Uh, and I'm just not entirely sure that, you know, compared to stoats and possums, like, squirrels are going to be any worse. And I was like, and I don't mean just mean general squirrels, I mean like red squirrels from like, you know, the ones that are more endangered in the UK uh, and other places when they've been outcompeted by the grey ones. You might as well bring the red ones to, to New Zealand. <laughs> Maybe. Like, I'm sure everybody I mention that to is, thinks it's a terrible idea, and I'm absolutely sure it is. It's just me wanting... Because it's not like it's going to make it any worse for New Zealand's native birds and stuff. Uh, or trees. So, who knows. Um, but yeah, anyway, speaking of non-squirrel-related stuff, uh, yeah, I felt tired. I just thought I hadn't been getting enough sleep, but uh, I definitely feel like I'm getting sick today, which could have been because I hadn't been getting enough sleep. That that tends to be the way it goes, which is why instead of going directly to sleep right this second, I'm going to do this, uh, because it's been a few days. I can barely actually read this, because it's, <laughs> it's directly where the reflection is from. Uh, the, overhead light. So this is uh, interesting. I don't think I've had a window where I've put non-clear doors on it. I do miss the good old days when they used to have the storm shutter things on the outside as well. Uh, they don't seem to... Do they even make that piece anymore? Uh, but there you go. So we've made we've made this. Um, it feels like if it's a barn, maybe they should have. That's of course another foreign concept. I wouldn't, don't live in a country. Well, I don't live in a part of the country where having such things on your windows makes sense. But you never know. You never know. Climate change. Maybe the storm frequencies will increase. Uh, so there we go. There was a tornado in a suburb just quite close to me that tore roofs off houses and did a fair amount of damage, which made me kind of depressed because I was like, what? That's just around the corner. We don't have tornadoes. <laughs> that's, this is crazy. But that's exactly the kind of thing, I guess. Uh, it's worried. I'm a bit worried that I'm missing. How did I miss a piece? I've lost a, I've lost a yellow one. Just like, oh, I know where it must be. It must be in the bottom of the bag. Except it's not in the bottom of the bag. Oh, no. What have I done? I, I, I refuse to believe that there's a missing yellow piece. Uh, but you'd think it would be 
So it's got to be here somewhere. Or maybe. This is weird. Um, well, that's a bit strange. It's not under the side of the thing. Oh, there it is. I knew Lego wouldn't fail me. There you go. Okay, I'm going to put that out of the way. Because that's what's taking up all the space. So back to what we were doing, which was turning the page. So even my voice is beginning to sound like maybe I'm getting sick. Like I'm just, I'm just like, well, I felt really tired a few days ago, and I don't feel quite as tired today uh, or yesterday. I, I, like I am improving in my physical ability to do anything, uh, and it's not like I'm completely exhausted. So I'm like, well, maybe I'm over the worst of it, and this is just the. Uh, well, I had this thing. It's here, uh, and now I'm just in the last stages. But I kind of feel like, no, actually. Um, but it's so close to Christmas. Oh, we're doing the red thing. Uh, which is here. And this bit... You can kind of tell if it's a 4 plus bit, because it's got the that exact sort of pattern. It's like the way that they make everything. Uh, and then that one goes there, and then that one goes there. And I'm going to put those in there, and I'm going to put the who's in there. Uh, and I'm going to put those in there. I have bought a fair amount of Lego today, actually. Um, where do these go? What a strange, what a strange thing. Okay, so that bit goes over there. And, which I will, I will talk about briefly at the end of this video or I might just go straight on to I'm gonna make another video after this where I've got uh, a few more of these things so what was that what was the point of this this is this is this is not a step okay uh, a few more of these things so anyway take these put them on well we can see how this is gonna go yeah okay that makes sense and that one makes sense. And then turn the page and slot them on. Yeah, could have seen that coming. Um, 1.6 kilometers away, that's for sure. Okay. And kerplank. Oh, that's, that was quite satisfying. This is a nice, good, firm. None of that silly, just snap off easily thing going on. So that goes down there, that goes down there. So, yeah, it's a bit of a gap. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no four-year-old's gonna complain. Or will they, who knows. And then there's a Technic piece, a Technic piece and a four-year-old set. Good work. And it looks like a tank. Because they're gonna stop just then and gonna go, nah, that's enough. So now we uh, look at this. I've never seen this piece before. Like I've certainly seen, like, but with the string, but never with the little stud in the middle, uh, which is much easier to put on than the string. So this is going. I can kind of guess it's going to go on the end of this. Well, again, another surprise <laughs> or lack of. And we'll just. That's quite. That's quite fun. And we're, we're down to the last few bits. Another bale of hay. Uh, for fun. And we've still got a few more pieces. Yeah, well, we get how that works. We've got this piece. And this piece. And this piece. And... The little person is not quite at the end yet, so we've got a bit more. So this is going to go in here. I don't know what this is uh, meant to symbolize. Because I ain't a far It's a bed! It's a bed for the... Fa this is their house. They live in the barn. Uh, and then we're going to attach the utensils. That can't be a bed. That's a watering. There must be... No, that, why would they be in the roof? Maybe it is a bed. Uh, and then we're going to... Where, what did I do with the... Oh, I just had it. 
Well, here it is. <laughs> the broom. The good old fat, old good old fashioned standard broom. I, w I had one of these when I was a kid. It came from like um, street worker set. Not street workers, probably not. The, you know, the person who cleans the road. <laughs> um, and I was quite proud of that piece when I was younger. So, oh, we have to put the. They're gonna. Are they? Are they? Are they? Are they trying to? Are they trying to sweep the? Um. <laughs> they've got the, They're stuck on the tail. Sweep the. Uh, I haven't actually built them. Gosh. So there's their um, body, and there's their head. What kind of hair are they? Oh, there's, there's their hair. So they're actually a little child. There you go, there's a little child. And their job uh, in their child labor is to sweep away um, squirrels, and for their good hard work, they get to sleep in the barn. So that's nice. And then we can put this on the top of here. I really want the the sheep's. We can open the doors, can't we? That makes it much easier. So sheep goes there. Oh my gosh, a lot of my hair is falling off today. Um, and there we go. Um, and we can put this. Well, it's the same piece of hair that keeps getting stuck on the table. And which way around does it go? It goes this this way round. So, so far, I <laughs> can't get it to... Alright, it's looking pretty good. That, that, that looks like a barn or a house. A barn house. Oh my gosh, that's actually the correct term. Okay, there we go. So far, it's quite fun. It's quite a good size too, I like it. Ah, no. Oh. <laughs> I think this is a bit weaker than it should be. Alright, and that is that. So, we have one more bag of this to do. Uh, but we're going to take an interlude for the next video. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye.